I'm very excited to say that today joining me in the Manchester office of Travel Zoo is Dame Sarah Storey, the Paralympian who's won 22 medals including 11 goals in swimming and cycling. This week Sarah Storey is the Travel Zoo Top 20 guest editor. It's been fantastic to be a guest editor here today at Travel Zoo and researching the deals has been really interesting to see how you look at other websites, to see what's available, to check that the Travel Zoo deal is the best deal out there on the market and just to make sure that everything's going to be great for the people who are going to take that deal. So yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Researching deals today at Travel Zoo has been fantastic. It's been really interesting to see how you look at other um, websites, to see what people are doing, see what other deals are available out there and um, making sure that this is the best deal on the market so that it can go onto the list. Certainly give me a few new ideas of places to go. There's also a few places on the list, hopefully this week, that are places that I'd like to visit as well, so perhaps I can go there, um, especially in the UK, places that I haven't been to in Wales and some places down in the south of England. There's some interesting spots local to home that perhaps we often overlook. In my career, I've been so fortunate to travel all over the world. Um, going out to Argentina for the World Championships in 2002 when I was a summer, that was incredible. I got to visit Mendoza in the Iguazu Falls after the competition. I spent a huge amount of time in Australia in the run-up to the Games in Sydney. Um, obviously went out to India for the Commonwealth Games in 2010 um, and just been around Europe for um, the last few years with cycle racing. So I've been very fortunate to travel almost everywhere. Well, once the competitions are finished, definitely have a holiday that's all chilled out and not going to be doing too much. But we always try and find, my husband and I, a place where we can have a little bit of activity. So the last holiday we went on, there was a mountain bike uh, plantation in the, the beach next door to where we were staying. So we went out on mountain bikes just for a couple of times during the week just to keep those legs turning. Well, now that I'm pregnant and we're expecting baby story to arrive in June, we're certainly looking to see how we might travel once the baby's born. So we will be looking for offers that are child-friendly. Some hotels that we've been visiting in the past have been adults-only hotels. So we'll have a new field of things to look at now. And obviously, traveling by aeroplane makes it a challenge as well when you've got a baby on board. So, yeah, it's going to be different. And I'm looking forward to being able to show the baby the world. Well, Cheshire has been pretty much where I've lived my whole life and it's a fantastic county. Um, from all the, the ruined castles you've got, Beeston Castle, um, on the far side of the county over near Chester. Um, you've obviously got Quarry Bank Mill and Style Mill are nearer to the airport. Um, and then down in Macclesfield you've got some fantastic halls, Tatton Park, um, Lime Hall which is very, very close to where I live. So there's lots of things, lots of his history within Cheshire. So I reckon people should go and check out the history and see what they make of the beautiful countryside as well. And if you're into um, looking through the telescope, then you can go down to Jodrell Bank and see the stars.